Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is still Tuesday, September 22nd, and it's 11.12 a.m. I got to hurry up and get to bed or I won't get a nap. We, I got to get up early. We're having a meeting at 2, and it says everyone has to be there. After that big old bunch of boxes came yesterday with COVID-19 on it. I wonder what it's all about. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> everybody's talking about it. Like, I wonder what they're going to tell us. Some people are going, I bet they're going to make us all move. This place is half empty. <laughs> A little gal from maintenance told me, no, we're moving someone in tomorrow. <laughs> No, we're not making y'all move. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, so I got to know before I have surgery so I'll have money to move on. <laughs> okay, I've got something here from a 14-year-old on fire Christian little girl. Uh, not so little, 14. Oh, boy, they used to get married at 14. Not anymore, but, well, we won't go there. Anyway... Um, this says, uh, okay, I got to find the beginning <laughs> because I was confused. I thought this one was my friend's and she sent me one the way she worded it through email and there wasn't one <laughs> okay I'm almost there I thought I had it but it wasn't the beginning here we go this is the dream and we need help with interpretation y'all okay oops <laughs> it was actually on Sunday 9-7 20. That's the date she got it. I wrote it out after I woke up. I was at a two-story old motel in the desert. My friend lives out in the desert, so they probably she probably does too. But anyway, I don't know if that's significant or not. A two-story old motel in the desert with open verandas. It was also a church. At night, I was sitting at a round table with some men on the second floor in front of the rooms to the left of the building. At the table across from me was the actor, Goran Viznajik who played a guy named Jimmy Angelov from the movie Practical Magic. Wow, I forgot what his character's name was until looking for information to refresh my memory on the movie. An Angel Love... When she spelled it out, she spelled ANGEL in all caps, and then a small O-V. ANGEL LOVE, don't know how you pronounce it. He played a guy named Jimmy, it could be ANGEL LOVE, ANGEL LOVE. If anybody knows that movie, maybe you know. In the dream, I was attracted to him, but knew Shortly thereafter, telling him how much I loved his character in the movie that I shouldn't be attracted to him. I knew he was wicked. I then attend church there, somewhere in the motel. And as I'm sitting in the pews, I'm... I'm uh, let me continue. As I'm sitting in the pews, there are women walking in procession down the aisle up to the altar 
and pulpit next to me, and I know they're witches. They had black hats on and short blonde hair. I turn in disgust from all of this. I know I shouldn't be there. I'm then outside in the parking lot of the motel, facing away from it, and looking at the sky to the left. It's daytime, and these spheres of all seven colors of the rainbow started forming and projectiling towards me in an arch and hit my right arm like balls of hail and sparks of their colors are flying, singeing spots and leaving circles of ash on my right arm. Then in the same spot from where these projectile colors of hail came out from, a giant bright fire starts funneling outward and swirling in the sky in a chaotic motion. I ran to the people in the motel to find the church pastor and ask him if anyone has seen the sky and show him my arm and explained what happened. No one seemed to be moved by it. <laughs> I mean, seriously, can you just see? Do they think a 14-year-old would have that vivid of an imagination? I mean, a 4-year-old, yes. But a 14-year-old, they're not moved by it? I then looked up at the sky in the evening. And near the moon, the stars started forming a square. But this is probably going to sound superfluous. This is one smart kid. But hey, it's a dream. I'm looking up at the bottom of a translucent gummy bear in the sky? Question mark. Translucent. It formed a square and then three other animals that represent the stars converge with it like a puzzle piece coming together. And then I wake up. So, her name is Harmony. That's pretty. Yeah, she's asked if it could be shared to see if anyone could interpret it, and she agreed. Okay, so that's the end of her dream. If anybody gets anything, um, the only thing I can, at first I thought, um, this hotel was being used as a safe haven, and they made a church in it. But then when she talked about witches being in there, I'm like, no, this is no safe haven. So what's going on? Have they infiltrated a safe haven? Just my thoughts. What are yours? Leave your comments below and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye for now.